Welcome back folks to Chicago 811. How the hell is everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. We're out here today. Beautiful Chicago. Sun shining. Located some gas. Critical gas made out here. So we need to get this job done for the stretch of water company to come out here and bar. So let's get into the video. Please like and subscribe. Alright, I look at the print. The print shows ETC out here <clears throat> to be on the south side of this road. So let's go try and find an ETC because that's my only hookup spot I got. It's the ETC. You can see there's nothing else out here. It's nothing here. Forest Reserve. You think there's a gas meter in there? I doubt it. So let's try and find this ETC on the south side of the road. Seventy-six feet east of the west center line. That's that. Seventy-six feet. Oh man, I could put me in there. And then it shows forty-nine feet south. Of center line, I'm. I'm uh, I never assume, but don't assume. But I'm assuming this time because I guess it's this center line. There's two roads here, so I don't know on a perimeter talking about this road or that road. So I gotta assume. I'm assuming 49 feet off this road here. So that put me up high with the ETC. I see yellow flags down low. So are they? Do they mean the medium 49 feet? So I'll put me where the yellow flags are. Let's look for the CTC. Up high. Seventy-six feet. It has to be in here somewhere. It can't be in here. You guys looking for it? You don't want blind out of one eye, can't see out of the other, so I hope you guys help me look for this. ETC, 76 feet. Oh, what I got here? I'll be damned. Here's my ETC right here. I'll be damned, 76 feet. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Almost, almost correct. 49 feet. They must be talking about the med medium island, 49 feet. I'm surprised. All right, so let's get out to this ETC. Let's make sure it's ETC, not a valve. <sighs> I'll be dead. I got two wires. So in this situation, I got a NAD wire. It means something, but I don't remember. And you got a straight wire. So let's get our equipment. And let's see what these wires do. Knotted and straight. If you guys know what a NAD wire means for natural gas, leave a comment below. Let me know. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook out to one wire each. Whatever gives me the best milliamp, Going that direction, I'm going to use that wire. The best milliamps, I'm going with the best milliamps. Cause then I know I'm 100% on it. When my readings are very high. Let's get the equipment, let's come back and see what's going on. All right, let's see. What's this wire is all about? Let's go put this in there. Oh, yeah. oh man. You gotta love it when there's moisture to grub. Always ground out first, just in case you don't wanna get electrified.
and I'm gonna use 9.8 folks the reason I'm using a little higher frequency because I know there's gonna be resistance on it there's gonna be resistance on the line, my line because this ETC is on this main here that runs and ties in off the 12 inch so that's why I'm using 9.8 a little high but I know what I'm doing. Wow, that man must be, must be right on the man. Watch out for the cars. ETC is no help. Let's go to the next one. this way 64 66 three feet is what I like so I'm gonna trace it out to where my tone dies out all right my tone dies out here I must be I'm on it so I'm going to sweep this direction because my locate is that way. So after these cars move, go and do a sweep. My tone moved a little bit, so let's go finish it. So at this point, my bar moved up a little bit. So I knew there was resistance on the line, but I'm still getting 30 milliamps. I'm gonna buff it up a little bit. I'm gonna make sure my thing, my peak is right in the middle. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use null to verify. So good response on null. So it's right here. Put it back on peak. 28 milliamps, three feet. Good reading. I'm going with this folks. Let's mark it out. Look at these cars, oh my god. What I'm doing, I'm peeking it out, and I'm gonna bring it, bring it back, and I know to verify my peak.
them about 50 feet out of their extent. Now it's all back. Good response. As you can see, the arrows are moving with the peak graph on top. So I know I'm on my main. See how the top and the arrows are moving? You know you're on it. If the arrows were moving and the peak graph up here wasn't moving, you bled on something. So I know this is mine right here. Beautiful tone. And well, wow, gas mains marked. There's something going on here. It's a little, I don't think it's straight. Gas mains marked out, actually marked. <clears throat> so folks, I know it's a short video, but that's how I do it. That's how I mark out the gas main. I found out the best milliamps, best wire that goes on this main, and I'm gonna use that wire to locate this gas main. Because the best reading you get is telling me for my equipment that that wire is on this gas main right here. It's not in all cases, but you know, that's where you guys got have experience and um, move and move around. When I see a lot of guys they'll clip on bolt wires, that's not helping you. Never clip on bolt wires at one time with your leads because that's not helping you. You could be fighting against it. You want to hook onto one wire at a time to get the best wire that's on here. When you're on bolt wires, your all your tone could be pushing you going the other direction, or it could be pushing you south and then it will force you to bump up your gain here and bleed off and mark something else out besides the gas main correctly. So always do one wire at a time. Never, ever do both wires at the same time because you guys are going to regret it and you guys will go, you, just, you guys will, is going to be off on this critical gas main and the gas company when they come out to verify it, they will not be happy with you. All right, folks, please like, Subscribe and have a great day.